All right, so I'm gonna be taking y'all with me today. We are gonna be drilling a well a little bit deeper in the in the ground. Uh, yesterday we drilled one to 400 foot, actually 405 foot, and at 400 and like one foot, we hit like 15 gallons a minute. So we need to go a little bit deeper. We can't leave all that water with only four foot below it. Um, so what we've got here, we've got two more rods. We're gonna go back. We're gonna cut it to 445 foot, and we're also gonna bring the excavator and the service truck and all the stuff so we don't kill two days we can knock it all out in one and we're gonna go there finish the well pull out and then install the pump system and I'm gonna take y'all along with me all right we are 405 feet in the ground crazy enough we hit all that water at exactly 400 feet so we're gonna go ahead and back Mike up here I was trying to get him to push that thing and it worked cool. All right, we're gonna fire this thing up blow the hole out and uh, Start start the uh, process ironically. They're putting in the drain field today, too the house I noticed that the footer was only about one block below the grade so unfortunately we have to dig below the footer and if you look at this that footer is only about eight inches thick like that is a shame that footer should be a whole lot probably double that thickness for the size of this house but I'm running into a big giant root 
I've been using my drill and my bulb planter because the dirt's so hard. So I've got my one inch auger and then I can go up to my three inch auger and then I started hitting that root. So I'm gonna take my sawzall now and cut that root out and then we'll go inside and we'll try to dig down and find that hole. Shout out to DeWalt, man. We love their little fan. You get under a house like this, it's so stuffy and humid. So the, uh, the red clay here is so hard, it's like hard like a rock. So we're doing what we can to try to break it up. But uh, the grade underneath the house is probably 10 inches higher than the grade outside. So that means we have probably 26 inches of dirt to, uh, to dig through to get down to that area. But realistically all we got to do is get down to the level of the footer, which right up against the wall there is probably where the footer is. We just have to figure out where the footer stops and then we can use the drill with the uh, auger on it to try to go down and find that hole. But basically, if you look at that seam right there, that seam in the middle of the screen is the one we have to uh, match. So straight below that is gonna be our hole. So per state law, the tank has to be within five foot of the door opening. So we're gonna set the tank there and then we're gonna come up here on one of these beams and uh, mount a filter. And then probably on that beam right there, we're gonna run our PEX pipe all the way down. And if we look over there, the, uh, the PEX pipe that's dropping down against the back wall is our fresh water connection. So that's what we have to tie to and then Basically, that pipe goes up into the laundry room, and they have a main water shutoff valve inside the laundry room. So we have to run our pipe all the way across. But the first thing we have to do is dig under the footer, which is a nightmare. All right, so I got somebody upstairs running a saw, making it noisy under here. But I ran that auger on the drill down and I actually saw daylight for a second. So now Justin's got it and he is going to be running it through there. I see, hey, there's some daylight, yeah. Got it nice and clean. Digging under a footer has got to be the hardest part of the job. All right, so we're gonna take a break from here. We're gonna go back over. They just finished drilling. We're at 445 right now and we're gonna go ahead and pull out.
well. All I gotta do is fire up the back truck. Get about 10 seconds of air conditioning. Turn on the DTO. This way, all of the hydraulics on the back of this truck will work. That's how I lower this down. Rigs all laid over. I'm mixing grout. I got a little. I got one scoop of concrete in there. Go ahead. Cut me a little sliver in my bentonite. With bentonite, you gotta let it pour in slow. 
or it'll clump up, especially with the heat. The, the hotter the water is in the tank and the hotter the temperature it is outside, the bentonite is gonna turn to a clay, but it'll flash way too quick if you dump it in too quickly. So no sooner does the bag empty and I have to start pumping it over into the well. All right, the hopper's full of grout. I'm gonna go ahead now and turn the pump on. We got our inspector, Craig, over there. He's making sure we do everything up the board. Ironically, we're the only well driller in probably a 75 mile radius who actually has a grout machine. The inspectors actually want other drillers to buy grouters since we own one. So this grout's gonna go down 20 feet. We're gonna stop it about uh, two foot before the surface because we have to come over here with the excavator and trench a water line into it. And then once we get the water line all hooked up, we don't want liquid bentonite falling into our trench. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move the rig forward, finish our ditch, and put our pump in. All right, we got both of the trucks pulled forward, grouter all wrapped up. Dad is back in the uh, excavator he's digging now. Justin's pretty much finished underneath the house while we were tripping out. And all we gotta do now is put a pump together and cut our casing off. Let's see how far our grout's down. So, let's see if I can zoom in on that. There's our grout. We put a little bit of chip bentonite on top of it to soak up the oh, Wow, that's super duper stiff. That's really great. Cool. Now we gotta do is get our trench here, put our water line on our electric in, and uh, next thing we're gonna work on is putting a pump together. Went ahead and cut the casing off. Mike's gonna go ahead and dump a bag of chlorine in the well. 445 feet, gotta make sure we sanitize it because we're not coming back. We are gonna be done with this job today. All right, we are back at the house. I've got my water line underneath the footer, underneath the foundation with a 90 glued onto it. I'm gonna go inside now and glue on my riser pipe. All right, let's go see what we got. There we are. Nice and simple. Well, unfortunately, my light just died. But I've got just enough daylight under here that I can work without having to go get another battery. We have been doing nothing but straight hustling until this point right here. And now, everybody is doing something different dad is drilling or i mean dad is running the excavator i'm under here trying to get the fresh water line hooked to the bladder tank and i gotta run the electric line next justin and mike they are rolling out the black roll pipe with the pump and the wire and they're gonna drop a pump in the well so all i have to do is hook up this pipe here to that elbow down there, I will be pretty much set. Next thing is I'm gonna 90 over. Let's see if I can show you. So I just got a 90 over and then 90 that way to the tank and I'll be pretty much done with that part. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I do anything with this is I have to tighten I have to tighten the female on the tank right now. And then I can take this pipe and glue it in and come over here and do my 90s over on this side. Okay, plumbing is done. Alright, he's almost finished with the trench, so the next step I gotta do is take my glue and connect the pipes and run them out to the well. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright, we got the pump out. There's a three-quarter horsepower, seven gallon a minute, J-Series, found on my website. 
and they are taping the wire to the pipe every three feet and the pump's gonna go in 300 feet. While I was under the house doing all that work, they were out here doing this work and vice versa. So I'm gonna go ahead now, we're gonna put the wire on the wire spinner and I'm gonna drag it and start that process under the house. All right, our water line is in, our trench is dug and our grout is brought up to the surface. Got the wheels on the well and all we're doing now is waiting for them to finish the pump to put it in the hole. So what we're gonna do now is drag wire and carry it under the house. Just pulling wire, walking this ditch. Gee doggy. Once I get this through the foundation, I'll be done generator is annoying. Absolutely annoying. Okay, all I gotta do now is reach down and grab the wire. Okay, got the wire. Alright, I got enough. I'll fill that hole in afterwards. I got my wire right there, my conduit. Now I'm gonna go back outside. And we're gonna do a little bit of hand filling with a shovel so we don't put the pipe or the wire in any kind of kink. We wanna make sure no big rocks are sitting below the pipe or on the pipe. Right now that looks pretty darn good. I know a lot of people talk about, oh, you should put conduit on that. Well, you should come and do it. Our state doesn't require it, so we're not going to do it. If you want to run 150 foot of conduit, 10 foot at a time, by all means, go ahead and do it. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and walk down the trench in any spot like this that the wire is hung on a root. I'm going to bring it down. Everything looks pretty good. Okie doke. We're still waiting on them with the pump. Probably got about 10 minutes for that. So I'm going to go ahead under the house again and hook up the wires to the pressure switch. All right, I got my conduit coming out of the ground. Next thing I got to do is basically just cut and strip my wires, hook them up to my pressure switch. I've got my conduit Romex to... Uh, that to hook up i'm running out of battery juice so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here and hook up my switch and then i'll show you the finished product when we're done all right we are officially done under here we've got our pipe coming in over there 90 90 in through the tank t we come up we've got our pex ball valve here then we're going to go through our regular sediment filter and we got another ball valve and then our PEX pipe runs all the way over there to the fresh water inlet for the house now all they got to do is come under here and lay some plastic and they'll be all set I gotta take all these tools out bring them back to the truck and then if you can see dad's out there he's covering up the ditch right now and um, I gotta go out to the well guys are out at the well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go see if they need any help hooking that up. That little is work all right, we've got the trench all covered up all the way out here to the well, and that's the only spot that's left exposed. Got our grout to the surface. Justin's hooking up the wires as we speak, and Dad's just chilling in the air conditioning. <laughs> and then um, we'll be able to load the excavator up and get out of here pretty quick. All set. All right, it is all said and done. Time for us to get on the road. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. It was uh, quite in depth. It was a whole lot that we did, drilling a well, finishing a well, pulling out, grouting, and doing the entire pump system all in about five and a half hours. 
So luckily we only had to drill 40 feet, but everything else was quite a bit of work. Um, my uh, The footage was kind of jumped all over the place because everybody was doing a little bit of something and I'm the only person with a camera. But uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section and let me know. But um, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to hit 100,000, and I can't do that without y'all. So I look forward to hitting that number. Really excited about it. But until next time, see y'all later.